Alright, so I have mixed up about 10 ounces of artist resin, thin viscosity, equal parts A and B. I have a little bit of it left and I'm just wanting to put a thin clear layer and place a cross in the middle and let it cure and then I'm going to do kind of that flower bloom thing around the cross and behind it so this is going to be a two-step process so I'm just going to add enough resin to basically just coat the bottom of this uh, mold which takes 10 ounces and I don't need 10 ounces I just need to coat the bottom And then I'm going to mix up the rest and do some fun coaster bottoms or something and some little pieces and uh, coat a tile piece. It's a cork tile, not cork, it's MDF. I hand painted it and this is for someone who wanted a daffodil. So I'm going to put a layer of resin on top. So I'm just going to use a silicone brush and um, spread it out. I'm just going to let this sit for a minute. Alright, be back tomorrow. So there is my coaster. i got to put a cork backing on it. But it's really just a mini painting. And it's the uh, daffodil with a coat of resin. This was in a previous video showing me doing a time lapse on this painting if you want to check it out. It turned out really pretty. Put gold edges.
we had to go somewhere this evening so it's been maybe about six or seven hours that's what I love about medium viscosity resin is it sets up so much quicker than the thin viscosity so just a little magnet or pop socket phone grip holder cover a little almost a little flower in the middle with the silver this is the first time I've used silver mica so I'm kind of go through the colors really quickly before I demold and I, I just love these oh, I love them I'm going to be do more of those for sure so for my gold I use the typical Lara's Art Corner Eredron Pale Gold Sparkle Miner's Gold from Funshine Shop they're Quicksilver which is a really fine silver mica sparkle white I put that in the white with some cast and craft and alcohol ink I put gold alcohol ink and with the gold micas and oh and I put white crystal into the white as well and I put silver alcohol link into the silver and then gold leaf which it goes so far you can use it over and over again I kept heating this multiple times for bubbles so I hope I didn't ever do it with my mold if not or if so I can get another mold this came from my Amazon and it wasn't expensive got some places that It's all coming away, thank goodness. This is the one spot. And that's just where I had a little overflow, which just comes right off. So before I turn it over and reveal it, and this is a thick one, it's over, over a quarter of an inch thick. I'm hoping it's pretty on the other side. I have no clue. It may not be. So this is a 10 inch tray, yeah it's a quarter of an inch thick, it is heavy, it's hefty. And I don't think I'm going to do gold sides even though I could, because um, when you do gold leaf I like to be able to see the gold leaf. I'll show you, show you what I mean here. So see when you leave the edges unpainted then you see the gold leaf kind of suspended in the resin which I think is really pretty. Okay let's see what this looks like. Okay so I think on the red on the colors I let it heat. It wasn't hot to the touch, that's the weird part. Um, but also my resin was thinner. Yeah, my resin was thinner, so it probably didn't have a lot of opportunity to really move. And the white didn't turn out like bright white, but I don't know if that's because it has another layer on top of it. Because see, this is totally flat. Because I embedded the cross in my first layer of resin into clear. It was, still, it was still above the resin, and then when I poured it in, then it's, this cross is totally inside of the resin. So... It's okay, it's not as beautiful as I wanted it to be, but I still love it. It represents Easter and faith, and you know, it's a uh, 
it's a good thing. I might, I might still put a little gold edge to pretty it up along there, just along the top edge. And you know, some people might even like it that way with the silver showing. It shows, the silver shows more on this side for sure. So that was a total experiment, just preparing for Easter. Yeah, I think I just, I think it didn't, it wasn't as successful with the, uh, the petals because my resin was thin. Um, it was thinner than I typically would do, or either I just used too much pigment in general to, uh, put in. I might should have spread it out a little further, but anyway, it's still pretty. I'm so pretty. I like to lay my freshly unmolded things on parchment paper to ensure that nothing sticks to them. Got a brand new gold leafing pen. So these just work beautifully. I, li I don't like the small ones that you do like fine writing with. They don't flow well. They usually blob up on you. They you know, either dump everything or don't put any ink out at all. So I don't really care for those. But these with the bigger nib um, are perfect for the edges of your resin pieces. Shake it up well because it's new. And That just pretties up the edge. But then you can still see the gold leaf floating through on the sides, which I like that a lot. Hey! I don't know if you can see me or not. So my Easter tray. I may do another one. Try it a little differently. Who knows? It's pretty. So I hope you learned something, enjoyed it, and please comment below. Please share with your friends. Love to uh, get more exposure. Share my creativity with others and inspire you in some positive way. That's what I like to do for people. So thank you for following me and I will see you on the next video. I love you all. Bye bye.